hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you are welcome be sure to click the red button and also subscribe to my youtube channel today i want to show you guys how to make perfect plain okra like perfect plain okra so please keep watching to the end and you know with okra you can have it with anything fufu gari rice so let's dive directly into the video so for the ingredients, I have my garlic, I have ginger, I have pepper, I have onion, I have fresh tomatoes, I have my okra, which is the main ingredient, I have kanda, I have my dry fish, I have crayfish, and I have smoked fish. I have vegetable oil. I have Maggi Crevet, I have Maggi Cube, and then I have salt. So these are basically all the ingredients I will be using to prepare this mouth-watering and delicious okra soup. I know I have okra before, but this one is a detailed recipe. So first thing, I'll put my oil on fire. The oil is on fire. I use that oil before to fry my fish. So that's why you can see some particles inside. So that's what that's the same oil I'm using. So the particles you see inside they are particles from my fish. So I'll put in my onion. After my onion is perfectly fried, I'll go in with my fresh tomatoes. I'll allow this to cook a little bit just to make sure some of the water from the tomato is dry. I'll go ahead and add garlic, ginger and pepper. I'll cook it for a little bit, a little bit, then I'll add small amount of salt. At this point, I'll also add in my
So I'll just go ahead, make sure I arrange the fish. I remove all the bones from it, but I am not throwing the head of this fish. In fact, the head of this fish is the best part of this fish. So I'm not throwing it. I'm also going to use the head of the fish, despite the fact that I kept it last. But that is even going to make this okra more sweeter. I just added in the fish as well. Now I'm adding in water and I'm making sure that the amount of water I'm adding in this pot is what is we are going to use to prepare the okra because I don't want it too thick and I don't want it too light. I just want it normal. Okra is something that we prepare it all the time. So if I buy my okra, let's say for 250 francs, I know the amount of water it is going to take to make sure the okra is completely ready. So after adding in water, I add in my Maggi Crevette. I go ahead and I also taste. So that's my gari on the other pot as you can see. That's what we are going to use and enjoy this okra with. So now that it has been boiling, can you guys see the head of that fish? That is the head. I almost forgot to put it inside. But I was like, no, I got to put it. That's it. Confirm. I make sure I taste for the salt and the maki to make sure it is correct. Because immediately I'm putting in the okra. I'm not going to waste any time. I will just put it down. Because I want the okra still to be very crunchy in the mouth and yet beautiful taste. What you can also do is to take part of the, the, the soup, you put it inside the okra and beat it before you put it inside the pot so that you'll be doing what I'm doing like that. Just put it, your okra inside a bowl, take part of that okra soup and put it inside. Please subscribe if you have watched up to this point. Share my video with your friends and family and click the like button if you want to see more of these videos. So at this point, our okra soup, we are just beating it to make sure all the lumps that are inside, they get dissolved. But like I said, you can carry some of the soup, put it inside the pan and beat it inside your pan. Rather beat it inside your pan than to beat it inside the pot. This pot of okra soup looks very big, but we finish it just for two days.